Hi everyone, I'm Nikki. As you know, when we charge the batteries, we always use the electricity in your house or in your place, right? Or we could use the generator where there is no electricity. For example, when we hold the training in the open field or when we have to do the spring work in the far place, then we have to use the generator. So some people may ask me, what kinds of generators they should use? For example, what's the power of the generator and uh, how much it is? And also, what kinds of brands you should choose? So today, we will talk about this. Okay, before I introduce the recommended generators, let me introduce some information about the DJI Agra's chargers. As you could see in this picture, you could find DJI Agra's T30, T10, T20, T16 and even MG1P in the market, right? And here it shows the photos of their chargers and also the power. For example, for T30 chargers, the output power is 7200 watts when you use two AC cables. But of course, if you use one AC cable, then the power is 3600 watts. But of course, if you use two AC cables in reality, then please firstly check the total power in your house is enough or not. But generally, we suggest you only use one AC cable because in the average household, the power is not enough. And also, you could watch my video last time about the cautions of charging and safety, then you will know about this. So in the average households, we only suggest you use one AC cable, so the power will be not so high like this. For T30 chargers, it has the fast mode you can use to charge. And also for T10, the power is 3600 watts, and it's suitable for T20, T16, T10 batteries. And also it has fast mode, and here you could see the power of T20, T16, and MG1P chargers, right? Okay, the power is important for us to choose a good generator. And for T20, T16, and MG1P, we may suggest you use one to two chargers. In this way, can you have a smooth cycle when you use the batteries? For example, if you have a big field to spray and you have a lot of work, then you could choose to use two chargers to charge the batteries. So you can finish the spring work smoothly. And for T20, T16 and MG1P chargers, they have fast mode and slow mode you can choose to use. For fast mode, the chargers can only charge one battery at the same time. But for slow mode, for T20, T16, and MG1P chargers, the charger will charge the battery with lower battery level firstly until it has the same level with the other battery. Then the charger will charge the both batteries at the same time continuously. Okay, this is the information of the chargers. And then next step, I will introduce the recommended generator for you based on this information. Okay, here is a table about recommended generator for DJI Agrius chargers. As you can see, for different types of Agrius and chargers, the recommended power of the generator is different. For example, for Agrius T30, we recommend generator with above 9000 watts, and for T10, above 4500 watts, and for T20, T16, MG1P, the power of the generator should be above 6,500 watts or above 6,000 watts respectively because sometimes we may use two chargers. Actually, you could calculate and figure out the recommended power of the generator based on the output power of the chargers we introduced just now. And some people may ask what kinds of brands you may recommend. Here, I just list some of them. For example, Yamaha, Ford, and some Chinese brands like Rintong, Zongsheng, etc. But here are just some examples for you. You could find some suitable ones in your country or in the international country. 
And here I also list the charger quantity recommended. Okay, as I mentioned, for Agros T30 and T10, we generally recommend one charger, right? And for T20, T16, and MG1P, maybe one to two chargers. Then you could keep the spring work go smoothly. Of course, some people may ask me about the price of the generator. Actually, this differs in different markets, so you could consult with the manufacturer or the market. Of course, generally we suggest you choose a big manufacturer so the quality could be ensured. For example, in Chinese market, a generator with power of 6,500 watts could cost 4,000 to 6,000 RMB. But in your market, it could be different, right? Besides, one important thing here is that when you use the generator or the charger or the batteries, please watch out the safety issues. As I introduced in the videos before, please watch it when available. You could find it in my YouTube or Facebook account.